Uh-huh. You know about the social media stuff. Tommy John. I want this is, waitress to come forward now. Yeah, she needs to come forward. Take her what shirt did, off. Let's what get did the she porn know? Coming. And when did I she know? I think if she doesn't come forward, the Seahawks should lose draft picks. <laughs> <laughs> what did she know? And when did she know it? <laughs> Now, uh, Tommy Jonigan, by the way, is one of our favorite comics. He's on the show. Uh, he's been on the show actually a lot. Uh, we love him. He's on Letterman. Uh, he was on Last Comic Standing, featured on Comedy Central, and he's headlining Tacoma Comedy Club this weekend. But uh, I'm starting to think maybe he wants to move to the Northwest someday, or at least buy an island or something. Uh, yeah, I've, I've been in here enough. I'm I'm glad you guys have me back. I'm, I I always worry that we I don't wear always my do welcome. that. You know what I mean? Well, we don't want you to like. It's like. You know, once a year or so yeah, yeah. Is, is usually good, but, uh, you know. We'll wait another year. We'll do today, and no, then we'll wait no. another year. Come you know what it is? Any time. You know, you know what it is, though? I think uh, Pedro's wife is a, yeah, thinks you're hot. Got a real thing for me. Yeah, because I notice wow. she'll slip in certain good-looking guys, like, as often as they want to come. Right. Yeah. And Jeff yeah. Dye is back. Do people <laughs> generally, I, I have to, I generally yeah, have Louis to. Louis Anderson never comes back. Louis Anderson, Anderson here, yeah. once every five years. John yeah, Panette's yeah. never been yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. We've talked to him on the phone. That's it. I think I she do, says, uh, don't you dare try to come to our studio. I do a pre-interview <laughs> with her at dinner the night before I do the show. Is that yeah, normal? Totally wife. normal. You're yeah. talking about my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you why Tommy's been in the Northwest a lot lately. Because it's quite a ways away from your house, which has a young child that is probably not giving you much opportunity to sleep. Yeah, that, that's exactly. Uh, we, I got here early this morning. We sat in traffic forever, but uh, I still slept in because this. I have a 14-month-old baby, and uh, and you don't sleep. And she's 14 months old. From This is the uh, the age where you can't curse in front of them. That's what the pediatrician said. They told you at 14 months that cursing Don't curse, would curse. actually, they would remember it? They'll repeat it. They'll just repeat curse words. Oh, and this is the time when they start talking? My kid's been talking for months. She says a ton of words. Wow. And it's hard also when a pediatrician says don't curse in front of the baby because I've never heard a baby curse that it didn't make me laugh out loud. Oh, it's so <laughs> now, funny when Now I have them. a baby that I can, I'm like, well, that seems like just a it's running al- bit. It's, it's almost like a parrot you want to teach yeah. it a cool truck. truck. <laughs> Say <Yeah>. truck. <laughs> Daddy yeah. holding a truck. And she, uh, she's also at the age where she makes you want to curse the most. Like th- this baby. She um, hit me in my face as hard as any adult has hit me since <laughs> high school the other day. <laughs> And I said, are you effing with me to my baby? <laughs> like, no. I just said it to her face because she, she, I thought she was messing with me. And uh, we were on a plane and I couldn't, you can't do, you can't really parent. Right. On a, there's nothing, I don't know. First of all, you can't parent a 14 month old. So what I did was I just took her cheeks and I squeezed them back to kind of make her like in that smile. And my girlfriend took the baby from me. She said it wasn't because I squeezed it. She was like, "It's just you had like a maniacal." Did that make her worried? Her it made her. It made her worried that you, you yeah. were going to be. It was going to be. It was, a, baby, it was a happy squeeze. I made though. a happy yeah. squeeze, yeah. but the, you know, flying with the baby is worse than being on a plane with a baby because I also don't like the baby for that three-hour flight. But it's mine, and I have to. This pretend is sounding a baby. little bit like like you should like your baby. I love my baby the most. I love my baby uh, more than my girlfriend. I love my baby to the point where I want to have a second baby. Because I don't want her to be an only child. Oh, okay. I love her so much I want to sacrifice another baby to her. I think that's what we're going to do with a second child. Enjoy. This is also, again, sounding strange. So you're on the plane. The baby... Uh, she baby. freaks out, scrabs my face, and cuts me. Draws blood. Oh. With her sharp little With baby. her sharp little nails. Yeah. Because I refuse to cut them. Yeah, and they grow fast, baby So nails. fast. Mm-hmm. Healthy baby, fast nails. And, uh, and yeah, so that's the thing. You gotta, my girlfriend does the thing where she holds her hands down. I don't know if the, that's a parenting. That's group. hard to do with the little, especially kids at that age, because yeah. they're. I remember to, babies squirm. Is your kid squirming yeah. at? Oh yeah, she's she's strong also. She's, mm. And you know my, uh, the thing is we're just, we're just to the point where we're talking about having another baby. We waited to have this baby until we were both at an age that people thought we did it on purpose. Because we accidentally had the baby. You did accidentally. It was an accidental baby. We didn't. And your wife it. is like what forty? She is forty. Can she, I say my that? My girlfriend just turned forty. And uh, she's she older than you, or are you? Also? I'm 30. She turned 40, and the fact that she's now 40 means every time we sleep together, she's the oldest woman I've ever slept with. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a new. I feel like I'm breaking my own record every every time. single Nailed time. It. It's a, yeah. yeah, it's 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 all great. The play by play commentators note that a new record was set tonight. And she's she's all she's also 40, and she's also very successful, and she has very fancy friends. And I don't get invited to parties anymore because I'm from Southern Illinois, and I'm not. I've embarrassed her at every party we've gone to, and I'm fine. I'm like, you know what? I'm ruining your social life. 
Uh, the last party we went to, I almost kissed a man <laughs> on his mouth uh, because it was a, a friend of hers is gay, and we went to his uh, Christmas party, holiday party, and uh, it was a bunch of gay guys, and I was standing there by myself, and this guy and I lock eyes. Like we make he eye contact. He thought you were locking eyes. We make eye contact, and I have. This is why I don't go to things. I have in real life. If I make eye contact with a stranger, a man that I don't know, I maintain the eye contact until he breaks. That's it's an right. alpha male thing. That's it right. shows dominance. You're trying to show a testosterone. Yeah, yeah. And then I realized yeah. this ain't the party to do that kind of stuff. No, nope. because we stared into each other's eyes for a long time, and then he just walked over to me and uh, started flirting. Yep. And. I'm like, I don't want to be rude or embarrass my girlfriend. So I don't, I, and also don't want to seem homophobic. And I found out when a guy's flirting with you and you take homophobic off the table, you're just kind of flirting back a little bit. Because <laughs> he's being real aggressive and I'm doing a lot of like, oh, you. <laughs> oh, you. You're yeah. silly. <laughs> and then he, and then here's how it happens he leans in to kiss me because I've not gotten across the message that I'm not gay and I have a girlfriend. And so you're he, trying to be politically correct, and I'm which is why you haven't gotten across correct. that, because you'll be misunderstood if you say to him, look. I don't yeah. know what to say. Yeah. And he leans in to kiss me, and I reacted. My, in my mind, I was like, I guess we're kissing, because <laughs> I wasn't moving. I was just going to let so him kiss me. So a part of your mind was going to let it happen. I won't, Not even part of my mind, 100%. <laughs> and my girlfriend walked up. It was like t movie timing. She walked up when he was about an inch away from my face. And I, um, I was like, hey, Did she punch him and Heather. scratch him like a, like your 14-month-old? No, no, no. All she, what she did was I introduced her, and then he said, nice to meet you, and he walked away. And then uh, she just stares at me. <laughs> and she was like, what? What was happening? And I was like, oh, we were about to kiss. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know any other way to explain to you what was about to happen. And she, you know, she's like, why were you going to kiss that guy? And I was like, first of all, he was going to kiss me. For, you know, <laughs> to be, to be certain, important. he was making the move. You yeah, were yeah. just frozen there. And also, in my opinion, I thought, it was, I thought that was the non-conflict way to not embarrass her, was to just let this guy kiss me <laughs> <laughs> and just be, just be done with and it. And so, for some odd reason, she doesn't let you come and visit her family? No, he was no. an attractive guy. I mean, I'm not going to... Tommy gonna... Donegan, the least homophobic man in the world. <laughs> yeah, I'm ho yeah, that's where my line is. I'll... Don't make me prove it. My, he's also very attractive. Like, these guys in L.A., they are very attractive. We were having lunch one time, and the waiter was so hot, I couldn't stop looking at him. <laughs> and then I realized I was looking at him more than she was, which means I have a type, and I'm not completely comfortable with that. <laughs> so I go, look how hot our waiter is. And she goes, I'm not into blondes. And I'm like, well, I'm not into men. What's happening <laughs> right now? You can't switch hair colors? I switch teams for this conversation. You, Just you, for the conversation. Yeah, you yeah. could. I mean, not that. I mean, but you could be mistaken. You've got kind of designer stubble. You've yeah, got yeah. A very, you, Unless you see me sleeping with my girlfriend, it's up in the air yeah, as to what my yeah. preference is. By right. the way, when you keep talking second child, and Bob already called her your wife once, so you've said girlfriend six times. Wouldn't you think of? And I'm Wait not minute, telling. You're not married. I'm not telling people how married. to live here. But to have one child to raise it to have girlfriend is great. But if yeah. you start making like a, a whole second child, Walton's yeah. here, shouldn't you get married first? Who's the holdout? She's holding. Uh, no, no. I just don't love the idea of marrying a chick that has a baby. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. We talk about marriage. We don't love yeah, the idea. You had of a baby. Marriage. Why? I, yeah, I don't. We have the commitment. I don't want to marry single mom. We talk yeah. about getting rings and just telling people we're married. That's like our next plan. I think I may just put a ring just on. To, so people like me don't keep going. Why Start don't calling you get my wife. What's funny is I just immediately, call, as soon as he says you call he her my a wife, kid, everybody calls her my wife. She's a 14 month old baby. I, I, it, like, you I wouldn't it, yeah. even hear the word girlfriend after that because that's so out of my. I, I don't even know anybody that doesn't get married. Yep. Yeah, we may not. For the whole life. She has a concern that when we get married, if we get married, It'll flip some type of panic button in her brain because she is against it. I'm kind of against it, not in against people doing it, but personally, it's never been a thing I've been driven. I've always wanted babies and I've always wanted to be in love with someone, but I've never wanted to get married and neither is she. And she's worried that if we get married, it'll flip a thing of like, I'm trapped. No more sex. Yep. Now we're boring. Now we don't yeah. like each other. Right? Yeah. Are, they, are your guys' parents still around? And Her how? parents are still married. Both of my parents have been divorced three times each. Give me a okay. shout in another dozen years. Let me know if you're still having sex. Because maybe uh, my wife and I should get divorced and just stay together. <laughs> is is the sex is the are, is it connected to the marriage or do you think well this whole thing that married people together. have less sex uh, that's interesting. I don't know if it's true or not. 
I don't know if it's married people have less sex. I my personal opinion is just being with the same person you have less sex. Oh, that so you're planning on moving on at some point? No, 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 no. no, I'm, no, just, no, no. I'm just I'm planning on not having as much sex. <laughs> that's, that's my plan <laughs> for the record. <laughs> yeah. you just could go out there uh, somewhere. And wow. we you know, we have uh she has um you know what? Like we we uh, to get in the, the thing like we have a baby, we don't sleep a lot. Uh we used to do it in the morning. Uh, a bunch, but now you can't do that. You, you ha- I have to set my alarm. If we wanted to do it in the morning, we have to wake up before the baby. It'd be like catching a flight to Hawaii. We'd mm. have to get up at 4 a.m. It's work. It's crazy. Yeah. And then, so I pointed out one time, I was like, we did it. We only did it once, like this in, this month. In a we whole month. A month. I'm oh, on the road. Oh, a good. Bunch. My wife and I are good. It's uh, December 6th. Yeah. I recommend bad. marriage once to you now. Yeah. So I was like, it was you know, with the baby. I was on, ro- on the road a bunch, but I was like, you only did it one time this month. Maybe we should try to do it a little more. And she goes, I didn't know you were going to keep track. <laughs> and I was like, well, it's one. I didn't keep, I didn't mean to. I did it on accident. I kept track of none, and then I added that time we did it. <laughs> it was a pretty easy math to do. Oh, that's an interesting. Do you keep track, Joe? Uh, I don't keep track, but it's kind of like a, a dentist appointment or a doctor's appointment or something. If it's been a while or I feel that it's overdue, then I will say, you know. You don't. I don't know exactly how many days it's been, but it feels like it's been a while. Kind yeah, but it's of a been thing. too long. Right. You just mention it. Right. I it, think we have an open. We have open communication too. I'll say. I'll say it too. I'll be like, we got to We got to get back. Got to get back. In, get back in, a, in, in a perfect world, it happens spontaneously, you know. But if that if if, if that ain't happening, if time goes yeah. by and it doesn't happen, then you say, how about some unspontaneous uh, loving? Yeah, yeah. Look for you know an excuse, something like, boy, I've got something really I really don't want to do. You know what mm. would make me feel better about going and doing this? You, know. you you barter it for actual well, physical just, labor? No, just not physical labor in general, but like. Uh, Things. This would make me feel so much better about you know? like, mowing the yard, or yeah, or about the hay bale, or whatever, yeah. anything. We, I, there's, we do. Uh, I found out there's a difference between making love and having sex. I, there's a difference between those two, and I know for a fact because one night we were having sex, and in the middle of it, she goes, "Make love to me," and I was like, "When? <laughs> not, we, not now. Yeah. We have to start all over. I don't know how to switch into it." She said, make love to me, and I just stayed perfectly still and stared in her eyes. I was like, is this is that what it is? What yeah. you were wanting? Tommy Jonigan. Tommy, it's great to see you. Uh, this weekend, uh, catch Tommy at the Tacoma Comedy Club tonight, tomorrow, 8 and 1030. And uh, when's, uh, what else are you working on these days? What are you, you know what? I have, uh, I have an album that we've recorded, and I'm probably going to release it uh, next year because I, I may do... Um, you know, like a, a special, and I don't want to have staggered release. So I think that's the next couple. The Comedy Central thing, yeah, 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 something yeah. like that. And then, um, so I'll probably have an album out in the next few months, and then uh, ideally, and a baby. Uh, I have a baby, a baby out in the next few months, twelve to fourteen months. That and then you know, it's like some um, got a script in the works right now that's uh, still kind of in the deciding point. Which of network would it be? USA or? Network. USA Network. All, All right. All these cable shows are monsters. Is that the one your wife's an executive at? She is a non-scripted executive. I thought, I wait a minute. Wife, I, thought your, I thought your girlfriend. I answered. I answered to wife. <laughs> wasn't useful to you in that area that you weren't getting. We talked about she this is, before. Yeah, we did talk about it, and she is not useful. And it's um, it's you're doing this on your own. Bothering, but it just happens to be at the network she works at. Yeah, yeah. Here's and how, she's pretending she I'll had nothing to do with the, the yeah. abbreviated story. Is um, here's how unhelpful she is. Is the script she doesn't she does reality shows and yeah. talk shows. So the person that does scripted comedies got my script from uh, NBC. It was sold at NBC, and then they got it from NBC Un- without anything to do with my girlfriend. My girlfriend is so uncomfortable that the scripted person asked her, she's like, would it be okay if Tommy came in for a meeting? We really like a script. So not only is she not helping me, she's kind of getting in the way she's of it right. by being very cold. I believe that. Yeah, it'll <laughs> look like she got you the job. So she, Yeah, I, it, that's her problem. She's like, I don't want to be that person that's like hey get my boyfriend's script or i don't want people to think that and in my mind i'm like if it gets on the air i really wouldn't mind a little nudge <laughs> <laughs> i wouldn't mind having to deal with that question at the uh, press it'd be okay uh tommy at tacoma comedy club all the info at bobrivers.com